Well hi guys and welcome again today to Pool Moto here in the south of England and today we're going to be taking out the Benelli 752. Stay tuned and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Well, hi guys, Mark here, and welcome today to a review on the Benelli 752S. So let's um, take a look round, run through the specifications first of all, and then take it for a test ride. And as always, many thanks to Pool Moto here in the south of England for lending me this bike today. So it first came out in about 2020, I think, this bike. And the price currently is £7,699 plus the on-the-road charge comes with a very torquey, smooth 754cc, 754, interesting it's called a 752, 754cc liquid-cooled parallel twin double overhead cam engine with eight valves. Now this uses a 360 degree crank which gives it a very, very smooth feel, especially at the bottom end. It's producing a claimed 76 horsepower at quite a low 8,500 RPM. So it's not about high revving this engine, it's all about low and mid range really. Torque is very good, 67 Newton meters at 6,500 RPM. The weight on this, 226 kilos wet weight. got a 14.5 litre fuel tank which should give you a range of about 150 miles I'm assuming it'll do about 50 to a gallon UK this bike seat height on this 810 millimetres it's not too bad it's a very comfortable seat it's very plush a little bit of a forward sort of slope on it but not too bad and you do sit right into the bike just take a look at me on the bike as a as a reference i'm five foot seven 170 centimeters i've got a 30 inch inside leg i weigh in at about 75 kilos so you just so you can sort of compare that for yourself So you've got twin front discs, 320mm discs with superb Brembo calipers, four piston calipers providing massive stopping power, absolutely superb brakes, we'll try those out later on. Tyres are Pirelli Angel GT, you've got a 120 on the front and a 180 section on the rear running 17 inch wheels. Some of the beefiest forks I think I've ever seen. LEDs all round. Quite a distinctive sort of projector style headlight there. Upside down forks. I've got a single monoshock in the back there which is preload adjustable. got nice TFT there we'll look into that more later on so it's quite a nice sort of tidy back end there you know you've got the um, indicators on like the rear mudguard thing here um, I have taken the seat off unfortunately no storage under there just your battery and ECU and all the electrics just working around the bike 
looks very nicely built good good sort of reliability re reports from owners on these Benelli's it's got a very smooth engine it's got good handling and uh, the engine's got plenty of torque anyway let's take it for a test ride shall we right then Benelli 752 test ride So 810 mil seat height. I can nearly touch down flat-footed. Pretty much there, but not not quite, but very nearly. Um, overall bike 220 kilos uh, wet weight, but it feels like it's got a good bit of substance to it. Um, not super heavy, but I wouldn't say it's that light. So it's kind of in the in the mid range sort of there. So we just look at the um, the dash TFT. Really nice to look at. You've got all your warning lights, your gear position indicator, engine temperature all your trips, odometer, fuel gauge, rev counter and clock and all your warning lights around the side so very nice to look at TFT there cable operated clutch which is quite light and very smooth You've got your headlight flasher, high and low beam, indicators and your horn <laughs> um, these buttons here are just auxiliary switches if you fitted like heated grips or something like that um, span adjustable front brake lever with amazingly powerful Brembo brakes engine start and stop, hazards and your start. So away we go. So it's got a very good sort of sound to it this bike, it's got quite a bark. It's got kind of bellows up from down below from the airbox. Alrighty, let's try this out. So very light, easy clutch with a nice early take up. And away we go. So the first thing you notice, it's got a lot of bottom end torque, it really does pull well from low revs. Opening up in third, yeah it goes. Right, it's got a nice weight to it, feels very sort of solid and, and stable. We'll take it on the dual carriageway later on. But so far first impressions, very good. Okay, so we're out on the open road on the Benelli 752. So we're just going to work through the bike in the usual way. Starting off with these quite unique shaped mirrors. I've never seen anything like those before. Little tiny bit of vibration in them, but all in all, a decent view behind. You can see a little bit of my elbows. All in all, about 80% view behind so decent mirrors that's good the TFT it's a bright day today lots of sunshine I can see all of the info very easily speedo and gears and revs at a quick glance so that's nice does handle very nicely feels very sure footed with those Pirelli tyres so riding position as you would expect is a naked machine, it's very upright, very comfortable. Um, I have raked these bars back a little bit myself when I got the bike, they were a bit far forward for my liking so I just undid the bolts, <coughs> pulled the bars back a bit and now it's really comfortable. So a uh, really nice riding position, nice and upright. I've been on this bike so far about half an hour this morning and the seat so far feels very comfortable. legs are nicely sculpted into the tank a little bit of sort of rear set to them but all in all a nice comfortable leg position I think if you were a taller guy if you were six foot there's still a fair bit of room here for your knee so decent leg position as well so we're just cruising along at the moment top gear 60 mile an hour it's just doing a very leisurely 4000 rpm the engine feels very smooth at these sort of revs we'll, uh, we'll take it a little bit higher later on in the rev band to just feel what the uh, if there's any vibrations at higher speeds so suspensions are quite firm a little bit sporty shall we say but it's all pretty compliant down this road feels like you could have an awful lot of fun on this bike around the twisties so 
we're just going to drop it down to fourth gear 50 miles an hour just open it up a bit oh what a great noise it makes on that air box it really roars so this uses a 360 degree crank as opposed to a 270 or 180 it gives it a very smooth smooth feeling Brembo's are super powerful we'll try those out in a while the yeah, overall feel of the bike is very solid well put together no sort of rattles or anything like that right we're just going to take it through town just to check the fueling make sure there's no sort of nasty hunting surging or any sort of snatchiness in the throttle so as I say it's very smooth in the clutch throttle response feels quite mellow it's not not snatchy there's no riding modes on this busy day here in the UK today it's a good Friday right so we're just in third gear now just bimbling along oh that's lovely just 3000 rpm yeah there's no problems at all there with the fueling it's nice and smooth and there's no hunting or anything like that down to second just feathering the clutch two and a half thousand revs so that's that's absolutely perfect yeah lovely riding position at nice and upright quite a commanding view there's plenty of control so if you had to ride this to work no problem whatsoever the engine is super smooth you can tell it's a twin it's got a nice sort of thud to it nice pulse but there's no like nasty annoying vibrations should we say it's got tons of character so all in all guys the um benelli 752 at the lower speeds is absolutely perfect right so we're in third gear just opening it up for that lovely mid-range oh doesn't it make a good noise you really don't need to rev this engine i mean maximum power is produced at eight and a half thousand but it's got a really gutsy sort of mid-range on it really nice Right, so nothing behind, we'll just try those amazing front Brembo's. Here we go. Oh, wow! And they're bedding in, so they'll only get better. So absolutely superb brakes on this. First gear. Hope you could hear that lovely noise. So decent performance on this engine. Top speed, I'd say around about 115, 120 dependent on conditions so we'll just uh, do a little roll on 40 miles an hour, fourth gear wide open and there's your 60, so you can see it's got lovely performance in the mid-range it's got a very nice smooth sort of throbby feel to it as well back brake all good just love those Brembo's they're awesome it's a really fun bike it's got decent performance it's smooth it's comfortable just something a little bit different you know if you wanted a, a naked bike rather than the, the usual MT-07 sort of style bike maybe give one of these a little look gearbox and clutch very smooth just going down the gearbox now very light gear change that's nice and very positive going up through the gearbox so that's good just drop 
dropping it down to third gear. Just see how it pulls up this hill. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, the power delivery is very immediate when you wind it on. It's just that mid-range is just gorgeous. All right, let's just see what the Benelli's like on the uh, dual carriageways at slightly higher speeds. So just revving out through the mid-range. Very smooth engine, lots of character. It's a very long-legged engine. It's quite a relaxing engine. So there we go. Around about 70 miles an hour, doing just about 5,000 RPM. Super smooth engine. All I can feel, all I can feel, is a little sort of pulse, shall we say, coming through the foot pegs. That's it. Very smooth through the bars and the seat. So that's brilliant. Mirrors are still pretty clear. Wind blast totally acceptable for a naked style bike feels very stable you know the the extra weight that this has over some of its competitors just makes it feel a lot more stable all right we'll just do a top gear roll on slow it down to 50 and then we'll do wide open throttle there you go and there's your 70 and it will just keep on going to about 115, 120. No problems at all with the suspension. Great handling, it's, it's good fun around the twisty. So all in all, the Nelly 752, a really nice bike to ride at higher speeds. Okay then guys, let's just wrap it up here and have a final walk around. So let's look at that TFT, nice and easy into first and neutral, that's always a good thing. Let you hear this glorious soundtrack again. I like that. Just leave it running just so you can just have a look at the uh, lights on high beam and the indicators. So LEDs, there's your little projector headlights your neat little indicators just down there excellent well, there they are guys Benelli 752 what are your thoughts on that I must admit I think it looks brilliant um, just something a bit different really if you're in the market for a sort of 750cc twin um, it really looks stylish it looks cool it's a bit different I think uh, it's got a nice sort of torquey engine it's not like you know 100 horsepower it's got the 75 horsepower but it's got lots of torque it really pulls well sort of four or five thousand see what it's like to push around 225 kilos wet so it's a bit of a weight but as you can see i can move it around quite easily it's got a nice decent grab rails here to hang on to so no problems there well then let's just take a look at all the details on it so there's your headlight, some of the chunkiest upside down forks I think I've ever seen. They are non-adjustable by the look of it. Incredibly powerful Brembo brakes. Trellis frame looks quite cool. All the castings on the engine look nice. Quite like the uh, little stubby exhaust there. six-speed nice smooth shifting gearbox there no problems at all with suspension a little bit on the firm side uh, just call it sporty really but um not not overly firm it doesn't sort of like you know shake your fillings out or anything like that it's just a good sort of sporty nice ride clutch all good Well, they are, guys. What do you think of that? Can you post your comments down below, please? Let me know what you think about the Benelli 752. 
and uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and um, don't forget to share this video around if you can as well anyway guys ride safe all the best and bye for now